In this video, we're going to learn how to connect to an API that uses cursor-based pagination in Airtable. So let's start by looking at what cursor-based pagination is. So we're going to connect to the Stripe API and use the customers endpoint to get a list of customers. You can see when I make this request, I get this list of customers back. By default, I get the first 10 customers. And we can see based on this has more flag that there's more than 10 customers in Stripe. And so I need a way to get the next page of customers, the next 10. So looking at the Stripe API documentation, we can see that for this endpoint, listing customers, there's a starting after parameter that we can set, which is a cursor for pagination. And it says we can set this to an object ID and then we'll start at that point. So going back to our API request, if we take the last customer ID, and we add a parameter called starting after and set it to that ID. We'll then get a different customer coming here. So this is a different page of results. And we can keep doing this as long as has more is true. So we'll set it to the last ID of this page of customers. And we can see we get a different customer coming in again. Scrolling down to the bottom, we can now see we've got to the last page because has more is false. And so there's no point in keeping paging through the results. This is the last page. So there's three pages of customers with 10, 10, and then up to 10 in this last page. So let's go back to Airtable and set this up so that our Stripe customers are imported in Airtable. So open the apps dashboard, click add an app, and search for the data fetcher app. The data fetcher is a free Airtable app that lets you run API requests right within Airtable so that you can import data from Stripe and other places like that. Once you sign up, uh, once you install it, sorry, you'll need to sign up for a free data fetcher account or sign into your existing one. Then on the home screen, click create request. Call the request fetch Stripe customers or whatever you need to for your request. I'm going to copy in the URL for the customers endpoint. I'm going to set the authorization, which for Stripe uses basic auth with our API key as the username and the password empty. We then set the output table and the output view. Then click Determine Fields and Open Field Mapping. Now this is going to run the API request and show us the API response and let us map that to the Airtable. So click Show Response. And here we can see the different customer objects coming back. Click Filter All. And then we're going to set which fields do we want to keep and how should they map to the fields in our base. So we're going to keep ID and map that to the ID field. We're going to keep Email and map that to the email field, changing the type to email first. And then finally, we're going to keep name and map that to the name field. So click Confirm. Then we're going to set up the pagination using cursor-based pagination like we just demonstrated. So scroll down to the bottom and open the advanced settings. Under pagination, select cursor and then enter the number of pages you want to fetch, or you can click Fetch All Pages so the data fetcher cycles through all the pages and stops when there's no more data. In the cursor parameter input, we need to enter the name of the cursor parameter, which is starting after. Then we want to select the field from our table that we're going to use for that. So we're going to use the ID field because we know that maps to the customer ID that came back in the API response. Finally, we're going to save it then close the app and run the request. Data Fetcher is now going to run a re separate request for each page. So you can see three requests ran and 30 customers were pulled into Airtable.